Okay, so what's this deal with me and the Barahona boards? Why do I like Jose's boards? How the hell do I even know of who Jose? Kind of like my fish story, it's just organic. When I was starting Canadis in New York, I did not know who Jose was. I never heard of him as a shaper growing up, anything like that. I had heard of Becker surfboards. So it turns out that Jose had been ghost shaping Becker boards through the 90s, which, and Becker makes every kind of surfboard you can imagine. They're an LA company. Ghost shaping means that the shaper whose brand it is is big. He or she does not hand shape every single board. They have a bunch of shapers working underneath them that are using their templates that are making the designs that they created. And because Becker made all of the standard kind of boards and moved through the progress of surfing history through the 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s, as the ghost shaper, Jose is a person who can just really make anything because he's used to making boards according to other people's designs. So he knows all the foundational principles of board building. I know that now. How did I meet Jose? If we really take it back, my dad used to get these hybrid boards from Doug Hout in Santa Cruz. And I grew up surfing those boards and I always felt the way that Doug shaped those boards was the best intermediate beginner style board not quite a short board, not quite a long board, maneuverable, but had l enough foam that made it easy for you to get in the waves. And when I came to New York, there weren't any of these boards. I started coaching, people started needing their own boards. The long boards were all these trendy, flat, 50-50 rail, like impossible. I mean, you go to Rockaway, you see people riding these boards and they're just purling, dangerous, just not, they're beautiful surfboards. And they're great for waves like Malibu and Montauk, but in pitching beach break, you need something with rocker. So I'm like, dang, how can I get boards with rocker? I went to LA, I did this trip, I tried these boards, and I also had tried to get some East Coast shapers unnamed to build me this board I kept calling the dad board. Some other shapers I tried to get in Costa Rica to build me the same board. Their approximations worked well, but they weren't what I look, was looking for. I wanted something that had more nuance, more refined, high-performance shortboard qualities in it while maintaining all the volume. All right, so I go to LA. This guy who I was working with was riding these boards, brought these boards for my clients to use that were like, this is it. Who shaped these boards? I found them. I rode a 710, was in love with it, needed to find out who the shaper was. The shaper was Jose. These are models that he designs that he has on his website, but he has been so gracious as to put my Canadis logos on the boards. I always make sure Jose's logos are on there. So the long and the short of it is that I trust Jose. I trust Jose for my surfing. I trust Jose for my client surfing. And I think there are a lot of great shapers out there. I just have this personal relationship with him now and that it's not a sponsorship thing. I'm not beholden to him. I think, again, like I love trying all kinds of different boards and I ride boards that aren't Jose's. I really like Charles Mencel's boards in New Jersey. Um, but now we've been working together for like, it's gonna be like 10 years soon. So they just do, the boards are really good for my surfing. He knows what to, they're not all magic, but the percentage of boards that come out that are magic is really high. And um, that's, what, that's why I like Jose's boards. In another video I'll go over the difference between buying boards off the rack and developing a relationship with your shaper or a shaper. You do want to work over time with a person or a few people who know you, know your surfing, and are invested in you having fun and progressing in your surfing because that's why we care ultimately about our equipment. You know, it helps us progress, helps us have different kinds of sensations and more fun when we're out there. Choo. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe. Love you forever if you like and subscribe. Watch my other videos, that's really cool. And if you wanna know more about coaching and all things that I do, just go over to my website. Everything lives there, archives of these videos live there. Get over there.